What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Rusty with Rusty's Pressure Washing and Hustle House TV. Anyway, in today's video we are going to be going over a 12 volt soft wash system that has a proportioner on it. I know I touched up on this subject a little bit in my trailer video, but I'm going to do a video of just this 12 volt system. So if you're new to the pressure washing industry, you're just doing your research, you just got started, 12 volt in my opinion is the way to go for beginners um, it's the cheapest soft wash method it's a good way to apply chemical so i would recommend going with one of these if you're just starting out get used to the game and then maybe down the road you can upgrade to something bigger like what i'm about to show you so we've been using 12 volts for about three to four years now um, we're getting bigger jobs working a lot more so we upgraded to a gas powered soft wash system. So once everything else comes in that I ordered for this, we will get it put together, we will get it operating. But for now, I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of what a gas powered soft wash system looks like. So enough talking for now, let's jump into this 12 volt. I know you guys wanna see how it performs. I'm going to show you that right now. I'll throw a few different tips on there. Um, shooter tips, fan tips to see what you guys could expect from a 12 volt that's operating correctly with all the correct hose and plumbing sizes. All this stuff really matters when you're throwing it together. Um, so I'm here to help you out on that adventure. So for the proportioner, if you're going to run one with a 12 volt system, you are going to want half inch, half inch sucking, and the outlet, three fourths. And then I have five eighths, 200 foot. It's a little rough to see around here. It's uh, in between two hose reels, but anyway, this is the wiring to the battery. You got a deep marine battery. Uh, this is what you want to go with. You don't want a small battery like that. That's for our sealer cart. So that's like a lawn care battery. But for a big 7 GPM pump, this is what you're going to want to run. And right here is a really ghetto on and off switch, but it does the job and we've got that in the mix as well. So here's the pump. Um, it's a North Star 7 GPM. It's going on about three months now, doing really good. Like I said, three force outlet three-fourths outlet and that three-fourths outlet is going straight in to the hose reel out of the hose. Before I throw these tips on and show you guys the distance and whatnot, I want you to listen to the pump and listen. Even when I have the tips on, it's just open ball valve right now, but even when I have the tips on, it's not pulsating and I want you to listen to it. If your pump is doing <laughs> or even slower, like zzz, 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 you're either running too small of a tip on the end of your gun or wand or whatever you want to call it, or you do not have it adjusted properly. And there is videos out there um, of how to adjust this, but it's just the Allen key on the back of the pump. There's a small, tiny little Allen and you run it with the tips that you're gonna use and you adjust it accordingly. First tip we are going to use is a shooter tip. Like this. Um, this is just a straight shot. It's nothing fancy, no Caleb Davis shooter tip, Ky uh, Kyle Davis shooter tip. It's just a regular blue tip that you can get for like five bucks. Okay, so we are going to measure that distance on the shooter tip. I was standing on that mat. So we are going to measure from the end of the mat down to the second crack of my driveway, which I was hitting. Um, so we'll see how far that is. All zeros. There. 
As you saw, it was shooting 35 feet with the shooter tip, which is not that bad for a 12 volt. Um, I know when I first got a 12 volt and I was new in the game, I was not using it correctly, so I'm hoping to save someone from some of the issues you will run into. Hopefully this video will help you out, but 35 feet for a 12 volt is pretty good. Um, that's a 12 volt that's operating correctly, especially with that proportioner system. You're, you're losing flow, believe it or not. You're, you're going through restrictions through those metering valves. But anyway, let's throw on some other tips so you guys can see the performance with some fan tips. Um, I'll show you that right now. All right, so this is a 1540 mag nozzle. Um, this is gonna be a 15 degree spray pattern. And let's take a look at this one. Okay, last one we are gonna look at. This is my top three lineup. Number three on the list is this guy. And that is a 2530, so it's gonna be a little bigger fan than the last one. And uh, it's gonna be a little more pressure as well. That's going to be it on today's video, you guys. I hope this helps someone out. And again, I apologize. I've been MIA on the tube, but uh, we just have a lot going on right now. We have a baby coming, a newborn, and we have a one and a half year old right now. So it's a little hectic, but I'm trying to get some videos in. Anyway, if you guys need help adjusting these 12 volts, go to Southeast Softwash on YouTube and they have a full video of exactly what Allen key I was talking about. Um, I don't want to mess with mine. My pump is dialed in right now and these things are pretty finicky to be honest. That's why we're upgrading to the gas. But you can check out that channel and they go in and physically show you how to adjust it to the nozzles you are using and what it should sound like when it's operating. Thank you guys again for tuning in. If you liked this video or it helped you out in one way or another, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of this content. But anyways, I will see y'all next video. Much love, YouTube.